Hello everyone, my name is Case Ford, welding instructor here at Tulsa Welding School and today we're going to be welding on this 3G uh, half inch plate with a backing strip and uh, we got our settings at 22.5 volts and 225 wire speed. We're ready to rock and roll. Alright, so it's important that you start on your runoff tab on your backing strip. You always want to start on your runoff tab, that way you don't drag any contaminants into your, into your weld. So we're going to start at the bottom here and work our way all the way up, taking it nice and easy. All right, here we go. Now it's important whenever you're doing your root pass, you want to go nice and slow, making sure you're breaking down both bubble walls. And if need be, you can give it a little wiggle. That way you ensure you got 100% penetration on that root pass. Now your root pass is always going to be one of your slowest passes because you've got a lot of space to fill up. Just taking our time, letting it fill up. Getting to the edge of our uh, root pass here. And like I said, we're going to go a little bit past our plate. All right. Now that's our root pass. All right, so we're going to chip off our slag and then inspect our weld, make sure we got 100% penetration. Take our wire brush and inspect our weld here. It looks pretty good. All right, so I'm going to have my wire pointing at the toe of our weld. That way we get a good 50% overlap. We're going to come all the way up with it. Now on this next pass, we can move a little bit faster because we're not filling up that void like we were doing on the root pass. So we can you can actually move quite a bit faster. So here we go. All right, we got the slag peel going. Look at that. That's exactly what you want right there. Woo, just falls right off. That's exactly what you want. Now, as your plate gets hotter and hotter, the slag isn't going to want to fall off as easy. But as long as you got good heat, good travel speed, everything will go your way. You'll be making the big money. All right. So now that we are done with our first fill pass, we're going to jump over to the other side and keep our wire on the other side of that toe and go all the way up. All right, here we go.
Now your nozzle angle is also important as well. Me, I like to switch it over just a little bit. That way I'm, you know, tying into that plate. Tying into your other passes. Keep a good constant travel speed. Take your time. Like I said before, you cannot rush welding. I'm going to have this over here that way. All right. Now, cleanliness is key. Make sure your welds are clean. Make sure you have no slag entrapment. All right, so we're going to jump back over on the other side of the plate. We're going to weld up this one side here once again. Now, I, a lot of people like to count their beads. I don't, I personally myself don't like counting. It's all about your judgment. You got to use your judgment on how much weld you need before you start to cap it. If you cap it too early, then that cap is going to be sunk in and they're probably going to get rejected uh, visually. So use your judgment. So to me, this looks like we need a couple more passes to fill it up before we cap it. All right, here we go. Now we're going to have our wire pointing at that toe of our previous weld, making sure we still have that 50-50 overlap for good solid penetration. That way we don't have a lack of fusion. Man, we are looking good. This is turning out very excellent. <clears throat> the 
It don't get no better than this, guys. Welding is fun. I mean, I don't see myself doing anything other than welding. I'd weld in my sleep if I could. That's how much I love it. All right. Checking to make sure we got no slag entrapment. Now we're gonna use the final weld for our fill pass. Gonna come up on the uh, side of the toe here. Work it all the way up. Now remember, it's important to keep those beveled edges. Those are your guidelines as you're welding. You do not want to burn those away. So be very mindful of those beveled edges. All right, so I went and cooled off the plate because that sucker was cooking. Just needed some eggs and bacon to throw on it, but got it all tacked back up. Now we're ready to run our cap. So I'm just letting the edge of that puddle just roll over onto the edge of the bevel. That's why it's important to not burn away your bevel until you're ready to cap. That beveled edge is your guideline. Oh yeah, look at that slag peel. I can just grab it, that's what you want. Oh yeah, good stuff right there. All right, so we're gonna weld on the toe of the weld. That way we get that 50% overlap and keep it moving. All right, guys, I think one more cat pass ought to do it, and that'll be it. Here we go.
right, we are looking solid. All right. Well, everybody, that was our 3G vertical flux core on half inch plate. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching our video today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something today. If you would like to get some more tips and tricks and become a better welder, then subscribe to our channel. And if you would like to learn even more right now, then click on our link. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.